Leos, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. <sighs> That's all I can say right now is, <sighs> <laughs> yo, this is the energy that has has gotten its way into, it's just like, I don't know, the energy is just kind of like blah. <laughs> I've been in the house. I've been avoiding going outside, not only because of this virus talk, it's just, I don't know, like, I, I think I could just feel everyone's energy right now, and it's like, dun, 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 when you walk outside, and even though I live in a city where everything is still moving, and, you know, things are still, businesses are still open, it's still just like, I don't know, like, it just feels so, I don't know. I don't know. I just don't like the energy of it. Y'all let me know what's going on in y'all city or whatever down there in the comment section, guys. Make sure you guys like the video on your way in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to click the subscribe button, okay? Click the bell for the notifications, right? Um... I'm going to let you guys know ahead of time that I am currently running a special. Okay, so if you like the way that I read, you want your own personal reading, um, you can contact me via email and we can get you set up for a reading, okay? I am currently running a special. My normal rates are $67, okay? For the rest of the month, okay? I've been running the special all month, okay? So time is ticking down. Um, my readings will be $44.44, okay, until the last day of March, all right? You will get a full reading, okay, as well as a free bonus question, okay? And the reason, the only catch to the bonus question is it has to be a yes or no question because I am going to utilize my pendulum to answer your question, okay? So... With that being said, let's hop into your reading, Leos. Y'all hit the like button. Hit the like button on your way in. Show me some love, okay? Share this video with your family and your friends, okay? So, let's see, okay? Energy for Leo. I need an overall energy because I, I just don't know. Um, energy is kind of like all over the place right now. Leo, let's see, Leo, 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 okay, it is pretty much like a timeless reading, but I am going to do it for, you know, going in from now, going into April, okay, so please give me an overall energy for Leo, please, give me an overall energy, please, for Leo. I feel like you Leos know what exactly what it is that you want. I got the High Priestess and the Ten of Cups. There could have been like some secret here. Maybe you've been keeping, trying to stay low key, keeping a relationship um, on the low, private. You've been real secretive. But I'm getting there could be like a secret of a secret relationship, or you know exactly what it is that you want here. Okay. Oh, I'm getting... Okay. All right. <laughs> I'm getting some spine here. Queen of Pentacles. You could be watching that earth sign or earth sign is watching you. Okay. With the Queen of Pentacles, this is Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. All right. Why is the High Priestess here? Your intuition was telling you to give up on something. That you may have to give up something. Why is the Ten of Cups here? Why is the Ten of Cups here? The lovers, yeah. This is about a relationship, okay. Most definitely a relationship. Um, I feel like some of you um, have deep feelings here. Um, with the Ten of Cups and the lovers, okay. This is very much so something deep, okay. 
I feel like you had to uh, drop your guard. Like you had to give up on something. Your intuition is telling you maybe to give up on this relationship and start a new one. Okay, with the Ace of Wands. Okay, because someone here, okay, we got the Devil, the Page of Wands, and the Five of Swords. I feel like there may have been like some type of bad news. Maybe you got some bad news. Okay, you found out about something. Um, and it could have been involving with a Capricorn with the double card here. Um, or it's just it was something that you just did not want to hear. Okay, why was the double card here? The three of pentacles. Why is the three of pentacles here? This could be work related, okay? Some of you are dealing with this situation at work. Okay, the full reverse. Okay. I'm, I'm sensing that there may have been like I feel like some of you are afraid to um, to to go back okay because you're I feel like you guys are hesitating maybe you don't want to seem like you're desperate so some of you are like kind of like holding back and just making it, you know, your intuition may be telling you to give up on this situation, okay? But this is some, this is someone that you care about. I can definitely see that with the Ten of Cups and the Lovers. This is someone that you care about, okay? With that Ace of Wands, this is a new start, a new beginning. Why is the Ace of Wands here? Yeah, for some of you, you're dealing with a Capricorn. Capricorns have been coming out a lot in, like, <laughs> everybody's reading. What's up with this, Okay. Okay, yeah, see, I feel like for some of you guys, we got the Nine of Pentacles here, and then the King of Pentacles here at the bottom of the deck. A lot of you guys are dealing with someone that, um, you know, kind of take their time and move too slow, okay? So some of you guys are going to be starting fresh, okay? You're going to be on the scene. A lot of y'all are going to be focused on yourself, your money, okay, building you. Some of you guys are going to be single. Some of you are just going to be focused on yourself and getting yourself together and doing what it is that you like to do, okay? She's wealthy. She's self-sufficient. She's taken care of. She's focused on herself. He or she, okay? This can go either way. But I feel like you guys are giving up on something and, you know, you're, you're, you're going back out you're starting fresh, okay? That's what I'm getting. So let's find out. Let's get let's get down to it. Let's get down to the nitty gritty, baby. Y'all hit that like button, all right? Hit that like button. Y'all start commenting. Let me know what's going on, okay? And don't forget to share with y'all family and friends, okay? So let's 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 do this, all right? Let's go to the past energy, all right? And let's see what's what. I don't even want to reshuffle. I just, I just want to just just go ahead and just get this out. Let's look at the past energy. What's going on for Leo's in the past? Okay. We got the hangman. They want to fly over here. We got the hangman. All right. Present energy. We got the six of swords. Okay. Yeah, someone's walking away from a relationship. Okay, this could have been something. Y'all have been doing this. Y'all have been kicking it for a while because we got the Ten of Pentacles. But we got the Eight of Cups here as well. Okay, so so you could be moving on or, you know, leaving this relationship behind, okay? Um, you just feel like you need to take control of the situation, okay? So moving forward, let's see what the future energy is. What's, the, what's coming ahead for Leo's? Okay, well, we got the five of pentacles and the two of pentacles, okay? So, someone here is feeling rejected or left out in the cold, okay? Someone also is feeling like someone is a liar, okay? We got the queen of cups and the king of cups. Someone here, you know, is in their feelings, really, really in their feelings, okay? Some You could be waiting for somebody to show you some type of affection or show you some type of, um, you know, show you something. Um, and with the death card here, you're waiting for them to give you some type of emotional exchange, okay? Um, 
And it's just leaving you, you know, you could be feeling left out in the cold, okay? So let's see what's what. Let's let's get down to it. Let's get some clarifiers. Why is the hangman here? The hangman for past energy is when things aren't being held up, okay? When there's delays, when things are just in the air, okay? Why is the hangman here? Oh, you were waiting for someone to give you some attention. Six of Wands. You're waiting for them to recognize you or put you on a pedestal here. Okay. Wow. Okay. So you could have been waiting for this person to show you some type of attention or put you on some type of pedestal. I feel like here with this three of swords, you were heartbroken, okay? Somebody left you heartbroken, most definitely, okay? And see, look, we got the nine of pentacles again and the knight of pentacles. So it's like you're slowly realizing that you may, um, you know, had to make a decision to be single, okay? I feel like some of you were afraid of this moment but, you know, why is the Three of Swords here? There could have been third party energy here as well. Why is the Three of Swords here? Ooh, oh yeah. Seven of Swords. There's third party here. Somebody is flirting. <laughs> Somebody is a big time flirt. You may have been... Um, Helping this person financially with this page of pentacles and the ace of pentacles. You guys had like some type of business arrangement with the two of cups, okay? There was some type of bit some type of arrangement here with this ace of pentacles and the two of cups. There was some type of opportunity. Somebody gave somebody some type of opportunity, or there was this is like a business relationship, or so there was some type of agreement. Someone was not honest, someone lied, someone cheated, okay? Someone did not give you the attention that you deserve, okay? And you waited for it. You waited. I feel like you waited for this person to notice and, you know, put you on the pedestal that you felt like you deserved. And I feel like instead they lied and they they cheated. They just did, did you all type of ways. This could be you or them. Keep in mind, guys, this energy can go vice versa. So presently, I see you guys are moving on, okay? With the Six of Swords, you're leaving this behind. You're leaving this behind, okay? You're leaving it behind. You're trying to... I'll find a way to get through. That's the type of energy I'm getting from you, okay? Living without you. Why is the Six of Swords here? Y'all gotta be strong. Y'all, first of all, they don't know who they're dealing with. First of all, they're dealing with Leo. Everybody know. Everybody know the Leo in the tarot deck is what the lion, the strength card. Okay, so y'all gonna find it in the strength to get past this anyway. So they're lost, and if they're trying to make you mad or jealous, it's not gonna work. Six of Swords. Okay, see, look, this is you, the Sun card. I feel like. I feel like, okay, because see what I'm seeing here as well. I feel like you could be looking back at the situation with a little bit of regrets, okay? You're regretting that you're having to move on from the situation. But at the end of the day, I feel like you guys are still keeping a positive outlook on the situation. Like, um, maybe you felt like, you, you know, you needed to move on. Maybe you feel like, you know, you deserve better. But with this with this sun card, I feel like maybe the, something came to the light for you, okay? And you really possibly didn't have any other choice but to move on, okay? I've got the page of swords here. There's been some spying. Maybe you've been spying on this person. Maybe you've been getting your tea. Maybe you've been getting whatever information that you need, okay? But whatever you saw, I feel like it made you feel some type of way, okay? I, I really do feel like that. But I do feel like something better is coming for you, okay, with the chariot and the lovers. I feel like you're you're pushing forward. You're pushing forward, okay? And this is definitely a lesson learned is what I'm definitely getting. And, um, yeah, see, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I'm getting that this most definitely is like, you know, I learned my lesson. I tripped up and fell a little bit, okay? I found out that this situation wasn't worth it, but there's something better coming for me, okay? And I feel like a lot of you guys are getting ready to be celebrating. Um, you guys are possibly going to be surrounded around family and friends and people that love you, okay? So it's going to help you get through this situation here. Why is the sun card here? Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, you're trying to keep a smile on your face. Okay, but I feel like really deep down, you are pissed. You you pissed. You you pretty pissed, okay? I ain't gonna flex. You pissed. The King of Swords in reverse. You really pissed about this situation. You feel betrayed by this person. You feel stabbed in the back, okay? You feel like this person betrayed you, okay? You possibly have felt like everything was all good, but I'm picking up that there with this Queen of Wands in the reverse, okay? There's a little bit of spitefulness, a little bit of, you know, maybe you find out about third per third party. Definitely here with this Three of Cups and this Queen of Wands in the reverse, okay? Somebody might have had a few partners here. And maybe while you're thinking that everything is good, this person may have been just been being real sneaky behind your back, okay? All right, so with the Five of Pentacles for future energy, let's see why the Five of Pentacles is here, okay? Because I feel like there's no more chances. I feel like you, you are done giving this person chances, okay? Because see, look, yeah, you gave them chance. You gave them a chance to come to you correct, even to apologize. Okay, look like it's like some maybe some you gave them an ultimatum is what I'm seeing as well too because we got the six of pentacles and the seven of cups. This is like giving them the opportunity and an option. Okay, so you possibly gave this person an ultimatum or gave them you know the chance to apologize to you with this knight of cups or explain to you but i feel like you're done giving this person chances okay two of pentacles and the just the judge judgment in the reverse i just feel like you know i just i just feel like you're done giving this person all these chances maybe you're giving this person chance after chance why is a judgment card in the reverse yeah see look we got the Empress and the Seven of Wands in the reverse. I feel like a lot of you guys are just going to give up and you're going to move forward and you're going to find something better. The Lovers keeps coming out. Chariot keeps coming out. Ace of Pentacles. I feel like once you move on, you once you give up on the situation, you got something better coming, okay? I do see you guys looking back at the situation with regrets, especially if you've been dealing with the Capricorn because for some reason, Knight of Pentacles keeps coming out, okay? It keeps revealing itself. This person was just dragging their feet. They were just taking a slow little time thinking that they won't lose you. And I feel like you know what you want, okay? I feel like you know exactly what it is that you want. And I feel like if you don't, if, if you put this situation behind you, um, something new is most definitely on the horizon for you, okay? I want to see why the Empress is here. Um, the Empress with the Two of Pentacles, that just kind of lets me know that somebody here is juggling two people, two or more people, okay? Yeah, see, with the Queen of Wands in reverse. Somebody was juggling, okay? Somebody was juggling here. Somebody was a player. And you you don't, you want balance. You want peace and harmony. You want to, you know, you want better than that. You feel like you deserve better than that. I know that's right, Leos. I don't blame you. Little bastard. <laughs> I mean, sometimes, guys, we can't look at the situation. You got to pay attention to how you view the situation, okay? Sometimes you got to laugh at, laugh at stuff sometimes. Because somebody you hear was a straight-up asshole. And wait a minute. Before I even get to that, let me see how they... Let me get a card and see how they're viewing you or how they feeling about it. How are they feeling about Leo currently? <laughs> we got the tower card. They feel like this shit just all came crashing down. Okay? 
They feel like, oh shit. Everything came crashing down. Yep, see? Yep, see, look. Something happened out of the blue was somebody just walked away. Okay? They're surprised that you that you walked away or vice versa. Okay. We got to share your voice. Come out of the cave. Okay. So it's definitely time for you to express your, you know, your feelings or it's time to express that. Okay. I feel like you guys got a, a good support system around you. And people that you can talk to, okay? So, don't just clam up and don't talk about it with anybody. Get around people who you trust and people who go, who could give you great advice, okay? To help you get through the situation, okay? How can you mother yourself? How can you mother yourself, all right? I feel like this was a big wake, a big wake up call for you. I feel like um, this was something that, you know, it's like a, it's like... Uh, for some of you, you may have been living in an illusion, okay, or looking at the situation. Um, a lot of you guys may have missed the red flags, didn't pay attention, um, but this situation happening now has been a really big wake-up call for you. So it's definitely time to nurture yourself. It's definitely time to practice self-care, self-care rituals on yourself, okay? It's definitely time to tune into you. Okay, and take care of you. Okay, give me one more card for Leo, please. Trust the niggle. What is that niggling feeling trying to tell you? And look, things are changing. We got transformation. Things are changing at a cellular level. It's time for deep healing. Okay, so there's something about a transformation here. Things are shifting. And I feel like something ended because something new is getting ready to transform for you okay like i said i feel like a lot of you guys this has been like a, a really big wake-up call like you know this was a life lesson this was something that you you know will take with you for years to come let's get some um advice from the angels let's see what the angels got to say and then I'm going to let you guys go. Y'all make sure y'all hit that like button. Let me know what's going on in the comment section. Share with your family and your friends, okay? You never know who needs to hear this message. All right, so let's see. What message do you have for my Leos? See, we got no, okay? And then we got recovery. And then we got reconsider. And then we got forgiveness. I'm getting like, don't forgive this person, Leo. Don't forgive this person. Don't go back. Don't immediately go back. Okay, there's a trust factor here. Because look, we got get more information. Okay, no need to worry. You got the right people around you, okay? But there's something here that you need to get more information about, okay? Maybe there's something that you did not know that was hit, that was kept in the dark, okay? And we got unlikely. See, look, this thing isn't... See, look, we got in the near future, and then we got unlikely. We got let go, okay? I'm just picking up that... It's time to let this situation here go, all right? I want to see why unlikely is here. Yeah, see, look, Ten of Swords. Let this let this mess go because see, look, you want something balanced. You want someone to your equal, okay? You want someone who is going to pour into your cup just as much as you pour into theirs. But I feel like, see, look, move on from this liar. This person is a liar and a dog, okay? This person is is they ain't shit. 
They do stuff for attention, okay? Why is no here? See? You're not able to manifest anything with this person, okay? You're not going to be able to manifest. Goodness. Woo. Okay. Ooh, okay, yes. See, look, we got yes here, right? We got yes here. We got no and we got yes, right? Yes, this person is a liar. Look, this person is manipulative. They are controlling. They are power driven. They are ego driven. Okay, this person is just not, you cannot trust this person. And then, trust is here. Why is trust here? Oh, well, that jumped out. Okay, trust yourself. You're the sun card energy, okay? Why is the sun card here? You gotta be careful who you trust, okay? I just was having this conversation with my daughter. She's a Leo. Okay, see, look, Knight of Cups. You have to be careful who you trust, okay? And keep people out your business, okay? You've got the world and the Eight of Wands. Take a trip by, I'm getting also, take a trip by yourself, okay? If some of you were planning a trip with this person, because I got the King of Pentacles here, as well, if you were planning on taking a trip with this person, go by yourself. Okay? Go by yourself. You cannot trust this person. This person is sneaky. Okay? You're dealing with a, a sneaky-ass person. Like, they ain't shit. And, I'm, <laughs> and that's what it is. This person is not it. Okay? All right, so y'all let me know what's going on in that comment section. If you want to book your very own personal reading with me, contact information will be in that drop box below. All right, so until next time, my Leos, ciao for now.